This is a transcription disc, and as you can see, it's huge. In fact, it's so big that I can barely fit it into this shot. Now, why am I holding this? Well, this is one of five weird records in my collection that we're gonna talk about today. So, starting us off at number five is, of course, this one, the transcription disc. So these records are a whopping 16 inches in diameter. They spin at 33 and 1 3rd RPM, and they were around from the 1930s till about 1960. Now, these were almost exclusively used by radio stations to broadcast certain songs over the airwaves and were definitely not available to the general public. As you can imagine, due to their size, only the radio stations had access to special turntables that were big enough to play them. Now, as a side note, you may be wondering, are these the biggest records they ever made? Well, no. Actually, these are the second biggest. The winner of that category would be the Pathé records, which were made in France around 1916, that were a massive 20 inches in diameter. Insane. So if you want to see those, you can watch this video right up here. Number four, the million dollar McDonald's record. This one is really interesting. So in 1988, McDonald's held a unique contest. They distributed 80 million of these flexi disc type records featuring their menu song in newspapers and magazines. And only one of them was a special record where the lucky listener who came across it would win a million dollars. So here's how the game works. First, you remove the record from the advertisement, then you place it on your turntable and play it. Now the audio is of a teacher trying to teach his class the McDonald's menu song. And if they can sing this little jingle all the way through without making any mistakes, then the listener would win a million dollars. So here's a little sample. Big Mac McDLT, a quarter pounder with some cheese filet, a fish, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a happy meal, McNuggets, tasty golden fresh fries, regular or larger size of salad, chef or garden, or a chicken salad, oriental, big big breakfast, egg muffin, hot hot cakes and sausage, maybe biscuits, bacon, egg and cheese or sausage, Danish hash browns, two and four dessert, hot apple pies and Sundays, three varieties of sausage, corn, three kinds of shakes and chocolate, Egypt cookies, and a drink of Coca Cola, diet Coke and orange, drink a Sprite and coffee, decaf, two a low fat milk, also an orange juice. I love McDonald's, good time, great taste, and I get this all at one place. Now, as I just mentioned, your odds of actually winning this contest were one in 80 million. So, yeah. Not as low as the Mega Millions or Powerball, but don't quit your day job. Now, unfortunately, although this one was not a winner, bummer, there was, in fact, one person who did win this contest. A 13-year-old kid from Virginia named Scotty Landreth. And, get this, according to this Vice article about him, it was his very first record. How cool is that? Now, as a side note, it wasn't all rainbows and sunshine for little Scotty after he won the contest, but that's a different story for another time. My original point here is that thanks to eBay, I'm proud to own this little piece of music history. Number three, the three inch Japanese CD. Now, I know this isn't a record, but it's still really cool, and I just had to include it on this list. So, the 3-inch CD, also known as the Pocket CD, CD3, CD Single, or even Mini CD, not to be confused with the Mini Disc, which is a totally separate thing, was another peculiar little audio format, which was around from 1987 till about the early 2000s. So, essentially, these were like the equivalent of the modern 7-inch 45 RPM record singles, but on the compact disc format. And usually they were also a few dollars cheaper than buying the entire full-sized CD. Now, although this format never really took off here in the US, in Japan, however, they were very popular, especially considering the fact that in Japan, they packaged them in these special vertical cases called tanzaku sleeves, which were designed so that the plastic inserts could be snapped in half and form a three inch square. Then you could put this smaller version in your pocket and carry it around with you. 
So in addition to its cool vertical artwork, the design was also very portable. Now this one, yet again, I picked up on eBay. This video is not sponsored by eBay, I promise. And it's from 1994, and it's Mariah Carey's classic hit single, All I Want for Christmas Is You. You cannot have Christmas without playing this song at least once. It's basically a requirement at this point. So as you can see on the inside here, it's got a lot of Japanese writing. It has not been snapped in half. And of course, you can see the tiny CD right here in the middle, which has only two tracks. All I Want for Christmas is You and Miss You Most at Christmas Time. Number two, heart-shaped record. This is a heart-shaped vinyl record from 1982 by the band Yarbro and Peoples. And, fittingly enough, it features their song, Heartbeats. So one side has the vocal version, and then the other has the instrumental version. So, similar to the CD single that we just talked about, this one is a vinyl record single. However, unlike the normal 45 singles, which are 7 inches in diameter, this one is 10 inches. And the reason it's larger is simply to accommodate this special heart shape. So basically, if you look at it a little closer, you can see that the actual music grooves are in the center, and then around that is just the dead wax cut into a heart shape. Now, although shaped records are nothing new, and they've pretty much been around since the beginning of vinyl records themselves, namely the 1950s, this is the only shaped record in my personal collection, so therefore, it's special to me. And yet again, not to beat a dead horse, but I found it on eBay as well. And finally, number one, Jack White's Lazaretto, the Ultra LP. What can I say about this record that hasn't already been said? Well, for starters, all of its special features are amazing. It's pressed on 180 gram vinyl, so it's thicker and less prone to warps. Side A has a glossy finish and plays from the inside out. Side B has a matte finish and plays from the outside in. Both of the sides end in locked grooves, which means that once you get to the end of the record, there's a special audio loop that repeats itself until you flip the record over. Pretty cool. Now, another interesting thing is that the majority of the music plays at the standard 33 and 1 3rd RPM, but there's also two hidden tracks underneath the labels on both sides, which spin at 45 and 78 RPM speeds respectively, which makes this a three speed record. That is awesome. Also, as far as the sound quality goes, according to the Third Man Records website, there was absolutely zero compression used during the recording, mixing, and mastering process, which is also really cool. But we're not finished yet. It also has dual grooves on the song Just One Drink, which run parallel to each other, so that depending on where you drop the needle, you'll get either the electric intro or the acoustic intro, and then these two grooves converge to finish off the song. And last of all, the coolest feature of this record, in my opinion, is the floating angel hologram within the dead wax area of side A, which was designed and hand etched by the artist Tristan Duke. Back in 2014, when this LP came out, this hologram was the first of its kind on a vinyl record. So overall, a very unique album that I am proud to own in my collection. All right, now before we go, today's song of the day is No One Knows by Queens of the Stone Age. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day as well, post in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. Now, what are the weirdest and most unique records in your collection? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you love collecting records as much as I do, then feel free to subscribe and hit the little bell notification right down there so you won't miss out on the new videos. And most importantly of all, have an awesome day, stay safe, and keep spinning that vinyl.